Uh, okay, that worked. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. Hello? Can you hear me, Mr. PJ? I hear you, Annette. I think I found my friend. She's locked inside this big house. There's the back way. I will save her. Just... No time, Mr. PJ. I have to run. Just be careful. Yeah. I hope she's careful. I hope she doesn't encounter her friend and her friends turn to a zombie. That'd be tragic. It'd be also the really obvious conclusion of that storyline. <gasps> BJ! Mr. BJ! I found her! Her eyes were red! I did not know what to do! She tried to eat me! I'm sorry, kid. I really am. I don't want that! I want her to live! And escape! While I kill every fucking Nazi in the way. Oops. Damn it, do you guys always have to conveniently land right down in front of me? Get out of here. Ow! They fucking hurt. <laughs> I guess just gotta make sure there's no zombies behind me. You know, one of these days I'm gonna encounter a heavy soldier or a heavy armored Nazi zombie. And that's gonna suck. Alright! Load up! Ow! Really? Couldn't you wait like a few seconds for me to actually turn around before you start shooting? Zombies are incredibly rude. They just have no minds for others. <laughs> With that said, I am an incredibly big fan of heavy machine guns versus tons of enemies. They never stood a chance. Give me one second. I have to stock up on a little bit more ammo. Who said that? Get out of my head. Stop talking to me. The Nazis just- the Nazi zombies making noise and sound way too close! Hello. <laughs> oh! Your numbers might be infinite. My bullets might not be infinite. But my fury will match anything you throw at me! <laughs> I don't like this door. Why is this here? Really? Jerk. So am I just making like one big circle around the area? No. Oh, I'm opening up the gate for the door. Okay. One second. Shut up, Shatkin time. Oh, golly. Oh, well, fuck you too, buddy. Seriously? You son of a bitch. He just knocked my ass way the hell over here. But that's all right. I have jumping abilities. Fuck you. A dick. <laughs> All I want to do is open the door for my giant robot. The shotgun's not an incredibly effective weapon. Oh. But it is satisfying. Alright, giant robot, let's get out of here. I figured I was abandoning you forever, but that is not, in fact, the case. Oh, hello. How many are Oh, just one. Article, Archaeologists Investigate Wolfberg Church Ruins. February 13th, 1946. A team of archaeologists led by the famed archaeologist Helga von Schaub has turned the old ruined church of Wolfberg into a scene, much like that of an ancient Egyptian of excavation. This is a beautiful city with some of Germany's friendliest inhabitants, said Von Schaubs during a break from her busy schedule. But it is also a city which holds many secrets. Secrets which may be important to the future of our great nation. When asked, several of the Wolfberg Wolfbergarians were happy with the academic interest, giving them yet another reason to be proud of their city. However, a few of the people did not share the enthusiasm. There was a reason the church was burnt down, commented Elsa. One of the city senior. I just gave Elsa a woman sounding name, a deep voice. The past is the past. It should be let alone, I say. Thank you, Elsa. One of the city's seniors. <laughs> no problem. I love my city. 
And my husband. Husband's the greatest thing I ever got. Alright, let's go blow up the door. Then maybe smack Helga with a robot. Eventually. Oh boy. It's a little faster to be able to do this. Shoot the zombies that are far, smack the zombies that are close. Alright. Climb the wall. That one? Aw. Alright. To grab whatever's here first. I like how BJ has like a little bandage. I just noticed that. When did he have time to bandage up his hand after all the shit that happened? I have no idea. How many more zombies are around here? Okay. All is silent. For now. The zombies have stopped falling. Giving me a little bit of a reprieve to gather whatever's around this area. Which seems to be not quite a lot. Alright, let's leave. Oh, I had to be in the robot, are you serious? The robot would give you a little bit of height. Yeah, well, you know, my arms could do that. Oh boy, a graveyard. This is exactly where I want to be during this time. Oh boy. The old church ruins of Wolfburg have been shunned by the superstitious locals ever since the great fire that consumed the whole village centuries ago. Yes, and maybe we'll have to deal with zombies. Ich denke nicht. Er muss schon tot sein. Wahrscheinlich sind das diese untoten Dinger. Warum müssen wir hier oben festsitzen, während diese Dinger im Dunkeln lauern? Hast du etwa Angst, Hans? Vielleicht. Alles in Ordnung. Hast du gesehen, was sie mit Fritz gemacht haben? Ich konnte Fritz leiden. I liked Fritz. Er hat es nicht anders verdient. Hat sich mit den Falschen angelegt. Sein Strudel war ausgezeichnet. Oh, not the Strudels. Mag sein. Aber er war ein Sünder. Ein reiner Körper und Geist vertreibt den Teufel. Hey. Ich hoffe, dass er nicht in der Hölle landet. Ich denke schon. Genug jetzt. Hey. Wir müssen wachsam sein. Hey. Hey. Oh no. Okay. Those were, uh, I forgot about that. I completely forgot that throwing knifing them would actually cause them to turn to zombies. But thankfully, these guys were farther, far enough away where that didn't have any kind of negative impact on my sneaking. I'm just expecting, like, zombies to burst out of one of these tombs. Heads on fire and screaming, Aah! And then the Nazis will figure that out and get really pissed off and try killing me and the zombies. Because now they're on fucking high alert. Well, not yet at least. Ooh, a map. How big is this area? It is actually pretty damn sizable. But if I can kill... I can move boy commanders, then that's all I have to worry about. Ooh, shit. Was not expecting him to turn right. Come on back, Commander. I have to deal with you. Which means... Headshots.
Let's watch this heavy soldier dude just walk straight by the body. Look at that! Look at that! These guys give so very little fucks about their dead commanders and dead anybody. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna head back around. I want to stealth kill as many people as possible before we kill this one dude. So that means I have to kill that guy on the distance. Is there a way for me to cross over? Yes, there is. Good. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. They didn't even fucking go, Oh, what was that? They just said, oh, shit, enemy. Yeah, you know what? You do that. <laughs> ah, zombie mode! Oh shit, now I'm a shambler and I don't fucking do have a chance to get anybody. No! aufgefallen, dass einer der Töne der Kirchenorgel verstimmt war. Immer wenn ich die Taste drückte, gab die Orgel ein seltsam pfeifendes Geräusch von sich. Mehrere Kirchenbesucher hatten sich deswegen schon bei mir beschwert. Als ich dem Priester davon erzählte, sagte er, dass es nicht auffallen würde und ich mir keine Sorgen machen bräuchte. Irgendwie kam mir das seltsam vor und ich wurde misstrauisch. Der Priester stammte aus einer Familie mit weit zurückreichenden Verbindungen zu Wolfburg. Er war angesehen und hatte großen Einfluss auf die Stadtpolitik. Ich wusste, dass er Geheimnisse von Wolfburg kannte, von denen niemand sonst wusste. Also blieb ich eines Abends nach dem Gottesdienst da, um zu sehen, was der Priester tat. Ich versteckte mich in einer dunklen Nische und beobachtete, wie er zu meinem Arbeitsplatz ging und die Klappe an der Orgelpfeife öffnete. Er griff suchend mit der Hand hinein, bis er ein altes Pergament herausholte. Ein sehr altes. Er legte es vorsichtig in einen Koffer. Dann verließ er die Kirche. Ich folgte ihm nach draußen. An jenem Abend waren viele Leute wegen traditioneller Feierlichkeiten unterwegs und ich konnte ihm leicht folgen, ohne dass er mich entdeckte. Er ging durch die Altstadt bis zur alten Kirchenruine. Als ich die Kirche betrat, war er gerade dabei, mit einem Spaten den Boden neben einem der alten Gräber der Ritter von König Otto auszuheben. Neben dem Loch war ein Erdhaufen aufgeworfen und der grub immer weiter, bis sein Spaten auf etwas Hartes stieß. Er entfernte eine dünne Erdschicht und darunter kam eine Steintür zum Vorschein. Eine sehr alte Steintür. Der Priester war außer sich vor Freude und tanzte wie ein Verrückter. Dabei entdeckte er mich. Ich wollte wegrennen, aber er folgte mir und stieß mich um, sodass ich mit dem Kopf auf einen Stein schlug. Er stellte mir Fragen, was ich wüsste wie ich gesehen hätte, was ich wollte. Dann sagte er mir, ich solle mir keine Sorgen machen und alles würde gut. Dann nahm er einen Stein und hielt ihn hoch über seinen Kopf. Ich hatte keine Zeit nachzudenken. Ich musste etwas tun, sonst hätte er mich erschlagen. Also stieß ich ihm die Finger in die Augen. 
Ich spürte, wie ich ein Auge durchstieß und mein Finger in etwas Butterartigem steckte. Warmes Blut rennt aus seinem Kopf. Mein Gott, ich kann es immer noch spüren. Beruhigen Sie sich, Michael. Beruhigen Sie sich. Niemand wird Sie deshalb beschuldigen. Das war natürlich Notwehr. Erzählen Sie weiter. Ja, er schrie und schrie und hielt sich die Hände vor die Augen, auch als das Blut zwischen seinen Fingern durchquoll. Und ich hob den Stein auf, mit dem er mich töten wollte, und schlug ihm damit fest ins Gesicht. Ich muss ihm die Nase gebrochen haben, denn ich hörte das Knacken von Knochen. Er fiel auf den Boden und ich schlug ihm immer wieder auf den Kopf, bis sein Schädel nachkam und er sich nicht mehr bewegte. Ich richtete mich auf und sah, was ich angerichtet hatte. Ich wusste nicht, was ich tun sollte. Also nahm ich den Koffer mit dem alten Pergament, das er aus der Orgel geholt hatte, und ging nach Hause. Als ich es mir später genauer ansah, erkannte ich, dass es eine Karte war. Eine sehr alte Karte. Es schienen irgendwelche Tunnel unter der alten Kirche abgebildet zu sein. Aus der Zeit, bevor sie eine Ruine war. Ich versteckte die Karte unter den Dielen in der Küche. Ich bin nicht mehr zu der Steintür in der Kirchenruine zurückgegangen. Ist sie immer noch dort? Ja, bestimmt. Ist sie dort sicher? Ja, ist sie. Gut. Was passiert jetzt mit mir? Kann ich wieder zurück? Ich denke, dass Sie dafür zu krank sind. Aber das muss natürlich Ihr Arzt beurteilen. Ich werde alles tun, um Ihre Lage zu verbessern. Bringen Sie ihn zurück auf die Station. Die Befragung ist beendet. Boy! That was a story. Huh. It's still going too. What is going on here? Why are you still going? You've ended! Is there more? Is she gonna like be drinking alcohol? Nope, it's gone. Okay. Wow. Poor dude. Oh, hey, wine. Helga's diary. Oh, boy, we gotta read Helga's diary after all that. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of exposition stuff. Okay. So, I guess the obvious answer to what really happened to Wolfberg a thousand years ago is zombies. They weren't Nazi zombies back in the days, but just zombies. Someone fucked up. Note from SS archaeologist Randolph. Frau Obsturmbannführer, I suggest that we dig a tunnel into the northwestern part of the graveyard. There are many clues that lead me to believe we could easily find the way into King Otto's underground complex by going that way. We would need to dig very deep, and we would need a lot more manpower to build things like elevators, rail tracks, power conduits, and so on. When you have the time, please come and consult me. Randolph. Oh, Randolph, that's such like, that sounds like a really humble name. What about this letter? King Otto's letter. Frau Ob... Fucking Obsturm Bonfuhrer. I'm gonna kill this lady just for having this title. Frau Obsturm Bonfuhrer, as you requested, here is the translated letter of King Otto. Gottfried Winkler. Uh, go down, go down, thank you. Gottfried Winkler. Otto, by the grace of God, Holy Roman Emperor to Venerable Conrad, Abbot of Wolfburg. His most kind greeting. Because of the nature of our problem and the significant threat we face, both from... I have made the decision to end your investigations into the parchments from Constantinople. I am well aware, my loyal friend, how dedicated you have been to... And a gift bestowed upon me by God. This, lady construct this latest construction, however, is an abomination from hell. I know you have frequently complained about the parchments being incomplete, but I suspect it is actually the devil that is trying to steer us into the left-hand path. We shall not give in to his wishes. By the power vested in, in me from our lord, I command you to burn everything in the tunnels, destroy everything, and let nothing live. 
You must burn the map of the complex. And if you can't destroy the in the inner vault, then seal it shut so that none may enter. Burn the entire city to the ground if you must. I will send you my best men to assist in this task. If word escapes of what we well, what went on down there, my dear friend, you know I will be required to have your head chopped off and <laughs> do this, then return to Paderborn, and I will make sure to- I hate these things so much. Go down. Down. I will make sure to reward you justly and have you assigned to- It says illegible, but I like going- Oh, Jesus, there's so many goddamn notes around here. All right. Note from Helga. First entry transcribed from Father Gregory's diary. March 11th, 1934. How difficult it is to distinguish local legends from long-forgotten truths. But I'm beginning to suspect I'm onto something. There's a network of ancient tunnels hidden on away underneath the defiled church ruins. I'm becoming more and more convinced of this. Something is down there, hidden away from the world, perhaps never meant to be found. I'm thinking one only hides something if it is either hideous or valuable. If I feel it in my soul that it's something valuable, a treasure? Oh lord, if I should find this treasure, I could use it in celebration of your glorious name. Send me a sign, oh lord, if that is what you wish of me. Must remember to buy milk for the cats before I go home today. <laughs> I'm glad you made sure to note that. I'll feed the cats. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Helga's Diary, entry number 6, Friday 14th of March, 1946. Dear Father, you taught me to love the secrets hidden in the past, yet the greatest secret of all, why you chose to end your own life, that secret you brought with you into the grave. I think about it all the time. It permeates my very essence, the search for an answer. Was it me, father? Were you unhappy with me? I feared it is the one secret I will never dig out. I digress. Must focus on my thoughts, must trust what it is I love about working in this field, unearthing the secrets of the past, the art history of it. Out here, I am a sculptor, chipping away the stone to uncover the shape of the beautiful truth hidden inside. This work, uncovering the treasures of King Otto, might be my finest yet, and my, and most, uh, my most important. Already, we have found so much. Gold, gems, ancient artifacts, but also curious gadgets, remnants of ancient machines. The truth was almost completely taken or the truth has almost completely taken shape now. I believe King Otto was a romantic at heart. He loved his wife Edgith. Maybe his ambitions as a king were quite modest before she died. I believe her death felt like a betrayal to him. A betrayal from God. He lost his faith, went into a deep depression. Then he had the Istanbul encounter where he discovered the parchments. From the parchments he learnt the secrets to creating incredible machinery. The discovery inspired him to do great things. With the aid of this new technology, he would become the Holy Roman Emperor of all of Europe. Now, even though he was the king, the church was a very powerful entity at the time. They would have most certainly deemed his work to be influenced by the devil and would reject his claim of the title of Holy Roman Emperor. So he dug these tunnels underneath what is now called the Defiled Church in Wolfburg, an underground complex functioning as his laboratory. This is where scholars, and chief among them from the abbot of the old church of Wolfburg, Conrad, worked in secret to create war machines and alchemical potions from the ancient parchments he found in Instable. And then he tricked the church into believing that the machines he used in battle were actually angels sent to him from God. This piece is shaping into something very special indeed. I just need to chip away the last pieces of stone to reveal its secret essence, hidden, I believe, inside King Otto's inner vault. I think I'll celebrate tonight with some nice wine. God, woman, how much wine do you have? <laughs> okay. So is that everything? I'm pretty sure that is the large majority of notes from this area. Alright, let's go. We gotta leave. Let's see if I can find anything else. Eh. I'm losing all this armor. I'll never get the full armor. I don't need it. Whatever. Okay. So, is there anything on the other side? We have some ammo and health over there. Uh, and that's it. Okay, then we're just gonna go straight into the ominous tunnel. I can't wait to see what was in there. I can, actually. What am I talking saying? Oh, gosh. Third entry, transcribed from Father Gregory's diary. August 19th, 1935. August has been so hot. I'm sweating like a pig. 
And while the heat is melting the skin off my bones, this research into what lies buried underneath the defiled church has started to haunt me in my dreams. It's been going on for the past few weeks now. I believe I must assist. I believe it's the work of the devil. Demons and witches working for the beast trying to fool me. I have seen them following me, disguised as humans. Well, I will not be fooled by them. I have tried to burn the letter and the map I found, but I cannot. I will hide them and say it. Instead, keep them safe. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put it in one of the most obvious places I could possibly put it. An organ. Second entry. April 7th. I have found an old map, very old, along with a letter from King Otto, the Holy Roman Emperor. I knew it. The tunnels, they are real. Oh, Lord, thank you for finally showing me a sign. Wow. There's a good time discrepancy between there. Okay. <laughs> April to August. Oh, shit, maybe this is a good idea. Oh, shit, nope, this is definitely a bad idea. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Oh boy, this is a really ominous entrance to a tunnel. Oh, hey. Doesn't this look familiar? I'm gonna break the little electronic door and hope that they don't have electronic soldiers in here. What have you been digging for, Helga? Zombies, obviously. Hey there. I'm gonna stab you in the face. Or the back. I'm just gonna do a takedown. That's all I wanted. Because I'm pretty sure a takedown will make sure they don't become a zombie. Whereas throwing knife, not so much. Throwing knives have betrayed me. In a way that I wasn't really expecting. 